Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Dragon Models was established in 1987 as a manufacturer of plastic model kits. And then in 1999, they began producing one six scale lifelike action figures. Today, we have from Dragon. Victor Algier, Panzer Grenadier Officer, Panzer Lair Division, Normandy, 1944. I actually received this figure for free. Oh, several years ago, I did a Craigslist purchase of several G.I. Joe figures that I purchased from a local seller. And during that transaction, the seller offered me this figure for free. She said she didn't really know much about it. All she knew that it was not G.I. Joe. When I looked at the box and I looked at, took a look at this figure, even though it was not complete, I knew that it was too good to pass up. So I went ahead and took this figure. So today we will be looking at this dragon action figure. This figure was released in, I believe, 2002-2003. Now, the set is incomplete and is probably missing a couple of things. The box that it came in is damaged with the top missing, which you will see here when I show you the box. But let's go ahead and check out the box that this figure came in. In looking at the box, you get to see right up at the top here where it is missing the top portion of the box. It, it tore off and it didn't come with it. So when I received this figure, but here we can see the front of the box. It has the dragon logo and it says action figure. It gives it the item number of 70139. It also states World War II, Normandy, 1944, Panzer Lair Division, Panzer Grenadier Officer Victor, and his last name is Algier. Uh, it also indicates that this is new generation life action figures and neo body inside and it also gives some other basic information here if you want to pause it and take a quick look at it you can along with the warning it indicates that this is for age over 14 collectible item and you get to see the great artwork that this box has here the barcode some more information and on this side it has similar information here and the back of the box indicates what comes with this figure it states that it has a uniform binoculars old pattern field cap and ammo pouches i only have one ammo pouch and i believe it came with and it also comes with a couple other little items here. Now this box here opens up from here and it has this little insert here that was attached to here and in here you get to you get to see what was in there. It has a little map and I believe some kind of rank ribbon or metal ribbon and it has where the Luger and the pouch and the ammo pouches were and the 
uniform jacket for this figure. Um, here again, you get to see some more artwork on this particular figure here. Old World War II artwork. And this is the box that this figure came in. Great. And Dragon, looking at other Dragon figures, the artwork is usually pretty terrific on these figures. This figure comes with a canteen. And the level of detail on these action figures and accessories is fantastic on Dragon figures. And this clips the either the belt or the bag. But this is the canteen. Also, it has a set of binoculars, which are also very detailed, and it has cover for the actual binoculars here. But this is the binoculars with strap. It has an old pattern field cap. Again, you can feel the material, but it, it's, you can also feel the hard plastic. And here's the emblem for it. Very nice, very detailed. It also comes with the I believe it's pronounced Stahlhelm, the steel helmet. And it also has a bag that you can go and have on the action figure. And I guess you can put the different accessories like the map that I showed you earlier can probably fit inside here. Also, the figure comes with a belt and a holster with an actual, we'll pull it out here. It's like a Luger, little handgun. Just take a look at the detail on it. Outstanding. And again, here's the holster with belt. The only thing I find difficult on this particular figure, and I don't know if it's similar on all dragon figures, you may want to tell me in the comments down below, is attaching this belt here. It, it It's very difficult once you put it around the actual figure to try and get it to stay closed. But here is the belt with the pouch and Luger revolver in there as well. So this figure also comes with a machine gun or machine gun here that the figure comes with and this machine gun can has the attachment sort of like that. This is the actual machine gun and I believe the clip is removable on this machine gun and you can actually see actual ammo in there very detailed very nice and it has the strap here for it so that and the it, they're made out of plastic but they call them the leather ammo pouches I only have one, and I believe it came with two, and I believe these little straps come up, and you can see the the clips inside there. And these, I think they, they actually are removable, and you can get those clips out. Again, very detailed action figure. So those are just some of the accessories that this figure comes with. Now let's take a closer look at the actual action figure. Here he is. 
He has a jacket, his trousers, and jack boots. And but just take a look at the detail. The weathering on these actual boots is outstanding. And his trousers, his hands, right? His hands. And let's take a look at the face sculpt. Again, very detailed. Very nice. And this jacket, actually, if we can remove the snaps, we get a better look at the inside of the jacket. Here, look at all these snaps that it has. And he's actually wearing a shirt with a black tie. Again, here it says, Dragon Made in China. And the details on his slacks. And the belt that is attached to the slacks. So, in a minute here, I'll go ahead and take a look at his articulation. This actual figure, you get to see some of his rank and on his uniform. And the one thing I do notice about this particular, these particular figures is when you move their arms and their articulation, it actually clicks. But this head has very good articulation. Now, you hear that? And his wrists, but you can hear the actual clicking when you move this particular figure. But very tight. And that's usually just on the arms. The legs don't seem to click as much, but they still, this figure is fully articulated. And again, I am really, really, really liking these dragon action figures. And here is the actual body. Let me know if you collect dragon figures and what you think of this figure. If so, please put it down in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and be on the lookout for more upcoming videos. Do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And please click on the notification bell to receive future notice of upcoming videos. So let's add to the action with Action Joe Figs.